Plotty has arrived. And there's certainly some quality plot to this unit. She is a flame physical assault character who is a powerful main DPS. Let's dive into her kit. Comparing it to the other premier flame DPS, Liu Huo. Then we'll assess the value of her advancements and matrices before seeing how new flame teams stack up to the rest of the meta. Body has similar features to other hybrid element weapons. She offers resonance for both flame and physical, and also uses the higher of the stat values between flame and physical. Her weapon passive heals a dot when using her skill, functioning similarly to other Domain 9 weapons. It scales off all your stats, but most multipliers don't work for it, meaning the contribution is not that significant. Plotty's main kit revolves around her skill. This puts you into a special airborne state that prevents gravity from affecting you, and you can perform dodge attacks in midair while blasting your gun for huge damage. You also gain a small damage modifier based on your height distance to the target. Once per skill, a dodge attack will shave off 10 seconds off the skill cooldown, so make sure you always start out with one dodge. Note that dodges are not a DPS gain over just hold attacking, so don't bother with more dodges unless you're using Yan Miao. This includes her special passive that makes every other dodge echo 50 to 100% of its damage. Speaking of DPS, Let's talk numbers. The DPS of Body's blasting attack is roughly the same DPS as Leo Bo's combo. All her other combos do a laughable amount of damage, and she has a sniper ability that somehow makes both Annabella's and Cobalt Bees look good. So, what else does Plotty provide? While her skill isn't active, Popa shoots backup fire every 8 seconds, dealing some damage. However, the downtime in a typical rotation is less than 8 seconds, so this passive damage never sees use in typical comps. In this case, what makes Plotty better than Liu Huo, who also provides a myriad of buffs? This lies in her trait and advancements. Plotty's trait is a generic 18% final damage trait, with an additional 20% bonus flame damage to Plotty herself. Note that strangely enough, this flame damage is a separate multiplier from normal elemental damage. Finally, her discharge applies armor dissolve and adds an effect to both your target and yourself. The effect on your target echoes 15% of Bruh. damage dealt on your target to nearby enemies, and the effect on yourself reflects a portion of damage received up to a cap based on your max health, while also giving you 15% flame resistance shred. When compared to Liu Huo, her own and off-field capabilities seem similar at best at A0. But that's because a lot of her kick comes from her advancement. Let's take a look at those. We'll look at the value of her advancements in three different teams. They'll all have Pony and Nanyan as a base, along with either Faisa, Yan Miao, or Z as a part. Her A1 causes a burst of extra damage every 7 explosive shots. This significantly increases her on-field potential, almost doubling it. This is worth a lot of damage in each team, but 
relatively more in Yan Miao and especially Zeke comps, as in those comps, a larger portion of raw damage is coming from Potty herself. Next is her A3, which increases both final damage and physical damage after Papa appears, which means it's pretty much up permanently. In addition to this, every 5 times Papa appears, Fantasia's cooldown is refreshed and instantly triggered. With the typical rotation, Fantasia should proc on every skill cast because of this. This advancement is worth a decent chunk of damage across all teams. Her A5 reduces the interval of her passive damage attack to 6 seconds, meaning it actually happens once per rotation. More importantly, every heavy energy round that's shot from either the passive or from her A1 now restores 10% HP, making it very useful for sustain, though this doesn't add anything for DPS. Her A6 allows the mirror's 15% damage echo effect to affect the target itself, making it extremely powerful. It also increases the reflection numbers, though this doesn't do much. However, it'll add additional block damage based on a percent of your max health, which helps survivability. The advancement values for body are on the higher end, especially in a comp with V, as in that case, nearly all the damage is dependent on body. Next, let's look at her matrices. Body's QP's matrix increases physical and flame attack by a similar amount as Yan Miao's matrix, while also increasing dodge regen on Body's weapon, though this is inconsequential due to her dodges being a DPS loss. Her 4 piece increases elemental damage when equipped with at least one flame weapon, and refreshes her discharge's effects which is very useful as it means you only need to use her discharge once per fight. It also increases final damage by a small amount when a heavy energy round is fired. Compared to other matrices, it's quite apparent that the value for these is massive, with the A0 eclipsing Leo Falls at A3 even with base stats included. It also proves to be stronger than Nan Yin's matrix, but whether this is more worth picking up over her advancements really depends on what team comp you're running and what matrices you already have. Next, let's talk about the teams and rotation. First, We'll cover the Meta Flame team, which uses Beisa and Nanyin as supports. We'll use their respective matrices here, and Bubble Gun and the Lazic Heart as relics. It's been a few patches now, so I'll mention that Triple Mask only at A5 is better than the Lazic Heart. Then again. Not many people have it, so I'll move on for now. Use Plotty's trait, as any team with Plotty main DPS should. Weak point is the highest priority titan stat by a large margin, due to how the damage is spread, but otherwise, normal attack damage is preferred. Start out with Plotty's discharge, then Use Faceless skill and immediately discharge to Nanyin and use her skill. Switch to Potty and use her skill and then dodge and hold attack until their skill expires. Jump cancel Faceless discharge and double tap her skill. Then repeat the rotation with Nanyin's discharge. 
is a simple and short rotation. Now, what about with Yan Yao or Z? The team builds are pretty much the same, and so are the rotations. Without Faisal on the team, Nan Yun's physical discharge is actually more value than her flame discharge. Just don't forget the essentials for each team. That is, do a dodge or two after Zeke's first skill cast to apply Snake Chain. And make sure to dodge at least 3 to 4 times with a bit of spacing to consume all of Yan Yao's Searing Blades. Now, let's move on to comparisons. Before we compare to the rest of the meta, let's quickly compare a team comp with real fall versus body as main DPS. At equal investment points, body is just stronger than real fall. Though, an A6 Liu Hua is arguably preferable over A1 Plotty as you'll have the sustain with Liu Hua. Meanwhile, Plotty doesn't have any sustain until A5. So, how about compared to the rest of the meta? Before I put the graph, I have to remind you guys that these are theoretical DPM calculations and you should take it with a grain of salt. Remember that because it's DPM, Brevi's extra time is not taken into account. And if you plan on comparing these to cactus numbers, note that several effects that do not work on the cactus, such as Yan Yao's trait, Brevi's A3, and any resistance shred, these are fully taken into account in the calculation. Anyway, let's get on with it. At maximum investment, the body phase of comp brings us that familiar power creep again, with the Yan Nya and Zeke comps close behind. Note that the body teams compared to other teams have more resistance shred, meaning that the difference between comps will be smaller in content without resistance. At a dolphin investment level, the damage of the body facial comp is comparable to the Yan Miao or Yulon comps, but the other comps fall a bit short, roughly matching the DPS of a Brevi Mimi comp. Dropping the investment level down to A3, most of the comps are neck and neck. The plotty facial comp overtakes the triple alter comp by just a hair here, but the others more or less match the other comps. Finally, at an FTP A1 investment level, the triple alter comp remains the strongest, with the plotty Zeke comp roughly equal to the facial comp. Overall, the plotty power levels are fair across the board, despite how heavy valued her advancements and matrices seem. Despite being the third flame character with a gun, Plotty brings some uniqueness to the game with her movement capability. Her rotation is straightforward and she works with several different units. However, I'm not sure if this was just test server lag, but I felt like I would get stuck in her dodge input constantly where the dodge wouldn't actually get registered and I'd end up standing like a dummy. I'm sure Annabella enjoyers know how it feels like. As such, I'm going to chill with my real wall as I'm not a flame main anyway. But hey, at least she can shoot fireworks. That's pretty cool. 
next up is Yanulu. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.